damn. I'm not even. I know you guys like this mother. I know you guys are like this motherfucker just fucking got liquid that he talking about a good week. Who the fuck is this guy? I think he is. No, I'm not nobody. I'm just me. This crypto trader, man. Take a loss. I'm a boss. Take a loss. <laughs> you ever heard my lyrics to that one song? If you listen to some of the rap lyrics, they're all like pertinent. They're, they're pertinent. Pertinent. I don't know how to even say that damn word. But uh, look, am I recording yet? I'm a boss. Take a loss. <laughs> uh, okay, check it out. All right, look, guys, check it out. Alerts. I turned them off. I'm gonna turn this thing on full screen, and then we're gonna just calibrate. Pitbull calibration. Okay, what can we have done? What what setting? Because this is this is. Why didn't you sell here? What what the fuck, Pitbull? Trend Chaser V1 caused us to fail. Something could have up here. So um, Jesus, what happened? What are you doing? All right, let's let's take a look at what we can do. Let's say calibrate. Okay, let's calibrate our bit bull. This is how simple it is. Okay, let's go down here. I'll just stop body guy again. And let's just hold on. I tend to pull this out so I don't I can get all of this in, in the screen and do a screenshot. Post this in the room under Trend Chaser V1. And these are the out-of-the-box setting or close as hell to the out-of-the-box setting. This is 6-2. Let's go back some more. It's 5-1. Oh, we can't go back anymore. So what is this? What is this? Let's go, before we do anything, let's go into the list of trades and figure out when the first trade existed. The first trade existed a month ago. A month. Oh, was that? The third. And then that was about a week. So about five weeks ago, okay? Let's just say a month ago. All right, the first trade was. So that was 6,000. 6,000, 6,000, 6, 6,700. That's close to $7,000. I'll just say $7,000 in five weeks. Not bad. bad. So let's go ahead and make it look like we just traded for the last two weeks, like we're supposed to, right? Um, let's go up to 722. Let's go to 73. And made $6,000. That's where we're at, seven three, right, right, right. So that's about a month. Okay, so we got we're in the we're in the eighth month, right? So let's go right here in. Right, I, I have my mouth messed up. So let's go right here into the. Um, oh, let's do it from the fifth. What was it again? It should have been like a thousand three. Okay, let's do it. That was one week. Let's go ahead and go to two weeks just so we can see. No, no, let's keep it here. Let's keep it here. Let's keep it here. Um, all right. For one week from the 5th. Basically, not even one week. What From the 5th would have been what? Let's see. Our first trade was taken on the 5th at 8. Then it went into the next day. So we made a good $1.45. All right, so buck forty-five. All right, so we made $700 in the next trade. Okay, $5, okay. Total of how many trades for the last five days was four trades. That's cool. 75% profit. Profit factor is high, though. Okay, we're still maintaining some, some structure, even though we're in a losing trade right now by how much? What's this losing trade? I'm going to show you guys how to use the performance summary live. All right, go down. Where's the uh, open trade? Open trade, open trade. Open PL. So we're basically 375, $379 got me liquidated. Thank you for putting the double ups on. Don't do double ups all the time like me, all right? You could probably still be in this situation right here. But here we go. What I should have done, though, noticing that these two trades back to back are so like, Big Boy started getting confused himself. All right, even I was confused. This is where the trouble began. So I should have started recalibrating. I was thinking this the whole time. If you watched the video, I was like, hmm, maybe need some calibration. I'm like, oh, okay, let's just roll this out. Let's roll everything out. Okay, if I'm right, if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Let's just roll with it. That's what that's what we do here. All right, so I was wrong. So now we learn from it, right? 
Right. Now we learn from it. Now let's calibrate Big Bull. Right. So I'm gonna pull this sprocket. I'm gonna go into the settings. And in the inputs for Big Bull, you got leash length, you got upper channel, you got lower channel, you got look ahead chart, you got a candle type, which is low. We need to, I said minor tweaks, right? Right. Because we don't really want major tweaks. We want little bitty minor tweaks to get this thing going. So just click the down arrow right here under the lower channel, which is where you know lower. I'm not gonna explain this. It's not it's not it's not a uh, easy science. It's not easy math. All right, I could have enabled these something different, but just if you tweak with them, you'll see. So let's go down one. All right, let's go down one more, and bam, nothing. All right, let's go down one more. Jesus Christ, really? All right, let's go back up to 4:33. Now I'm gonna adjust the dates. Now this is why the dates matter. I'm starting to learn something myself right here. Let's go down here. This is two. Let's go to the third. Eight. All right. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to mess with this. Now let's go down. Let's go back up. I think I've been sabotaged I'm starting to feel sabotaged i can tell you that much i should not feel sabotaged i'll tell you i'll let you know if i feel sabotaged uh this is cracking cracking yeah everything's adding up okay except for the date let's go to when's the first trade taken right here I'm sorry. Shit. Just now starting to feel the pain. Minor tweaks my ass. Let's go down to 21. I looked at the numbers wrong. Hmm. I still find that quite interesting. I realized I was all the way down there. Remember, I told you while I was while I was live recording, my my alerts went away, and I don't know if that was the reason. I think I'm starting to think that like this was probably two. two. It was probably four twenty. Right, let's make sure we got four one in there. All right. I'm going to say save and then um, see that this popped up right here. So I'm just getting kind of like, I guess, dex, uh, what is it called? Ambidextrous or what is it uh, when you see shit the wrong way? You know, I'm too many down, down numbers in my face or something. Fuck. I've made a fool of myself again. All right, let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right, so I'm not going to tell you. All right, so look, let's go to, let's go to the higher time frame. Let's go to the third. This is the third. Okay, right here. So let's go to the. What was it again? Fifth. All right, let's go back to the fifth of August. So go to August. August fifth. Bam. Okay. Now notice that profit didn't didn't do anything. Profit is still there. All right. So let's four thirty three. Look at this. It's important to understand where we where we are. All right. This is where we're at four trades and we're at a loss. All right. So four and one. Bam. That brings us uh short where we should be shorting. All right. Okay. And five trades. And there's a couple of losses in there. You know where those losses exist, right? right in this area they're right here so this is a short so you let's let's just let's just go ahead and save that and let's go into the list of trades and let's go down to the last two trades so we took a $20 loss and a $30 loss right here here's a $20 loss 
you had a thirty dollar loss. Don't be feeling bad when you take small losses because these are straight lined up in a line. That means this area was meant to distract and annoy any normal minded trader trying to figure out what direction to go in. Because you could saw you saw this long right. This would threw me off too. That definitely threw me off. That's why this is such a learning experience, right? Only on mining trades. Only on mining trades. Okay. Perfect learning experience. Look at that volume. Look at that volume that came in with that green candle. That shit threw me off. Cause I'm 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 taught to to look at these green elephant candles. Now I know those are just meant to throw your ass off so you can get long, like right here. Throw my big bull off just a tad bit. All right, but we can catch this next time. Right here is when I saw something weird going on. Right here. Big bull caught it just now. Look, it was that easy to fix. See that? See that? Remember when that happened? I remember this shit. It was up here, and then all of a sudden they were like, yeah, man, we ain't going up there, man. We going down. I was like, oh, shit. I've never seen such a annoying thing happen before. So that was the tell sell. Boom. We just needed to calibrate Big Bull, and we would have been in profit all the way down. <laughs> Boom, okay? $379 later, right? We're in profit. Now, let's go to the performance summary. Profit factors at 20. That's great. And open P&L instead of negative 300, it's positive 357. Now, that's all it takes to calibrate Big Bull. Remember, there exists all, all the quants in the world will attest to this, okay? Any quant and any hedge fund that pays for quant, which is a quant, which is like me, which is somebody who builds buy strategies and automates, you know, does calculations, codes, you know, and, and what they have found is that the quants, when you interview them, they all tell you the same shit. Yeah, we got to monitor our bots. They fall out of profit, but you can, you have to mark, because the markets are so fucked, they change so much. And we're all looking for a bot that never falls out of strength, that will never fall out of profit. We all are looking for that. But as you can see, even my bot, after doing that, such a good move, we have to recalibrate. When we start seeing, and this is our this is our tall tales, when we start getting confused, when our bot starts getting confused, how would we know to go short here? If I would have seen a short here. From Big Bull, just from a minor t tweak like that, like a really just minute, minor tweak. Everything would have clicked right here. And this is no shit. This is the same line where I went long. All right. You see the green line? I don't know if you guys see that green line. But it, this is amazing. This is amazing stuff, man. It, no coincidence, right? No coincidence. I put that line there because after I added to my position... The average of my ad, I had like added it down here. I added it down here and then I went to sleep. Then it was up here. I was like, oh, I did the right thing. And then I saw it come down here. I was like, what the fuck? And right there is where I was supposed to flip. And I knew it. So I was like, damn, I need to flip right there. I should, I should fucking flip. And it went down underneath here. And I was like, I had these four Bitcoin positions on. I was like, fuck. You guys can see this. All right. Because I recorded it. Now look, I'm down here and it's like $200 already below price I got four bitcoins against me and then it goes back in profit i'm like oh i'm like at four hundred dollars i'm like damn so i take the profit and flip i was thinking about that shit but then i had to go do some things run some chores clean the house work out look at some other things you know pay attention to a lot a lot of stuff's going on so then we come down here again i'm like damn i should just flip this shit we're going now i can tell then guess what i do nothing because why because there's a green fucking candle right i'm like oh we're going up i'm like oh yeah we're going up here's the green candle i'm like yeah we're coming back just hold it real tight hold it i said oh shit look at this and i kept looking at them buy it they were selling and they were buying somebody was sitting here buying this shit this whole time from what time from what time to what time and i thought that was the bears i swear to fucking god i thought it was the bears i was wrong this came down here right and i see him buying again i seen this whole shit play out this took an entire three hours right here for me to realize nothing, okay? Nothing that was correct. <laughs> that took three hours for me to realize nothing that was correct, okay, guys? That's how fucking trading is for you. Now I can see this again, and I will immediately recognize it, okay? This is great, great information, all right? And I recorded it. Perfect, okay? Know when you're wrong, all right? Please, it helps you trade better, please. 
be a boss, take a loss. Okay, that didn't tweak and destroy any of the profit profitability. Okay, I'm just gonna go back and trace through the. I can't trace back. Go back down here. First trade took place six. Uh, took place. Over 240. Also took place on the third. Okay. I can't get any data past the third now, okay? So remember, all those trades before the third were profitable. If you can, if you can't, that's too bad. Just go review the videos from those days back then, before the seventh. I think I need to start labeling when I go back and review trades, big bull trades, uh, for the chaser trade review, trade review. All right, boom, we got a long here. I lost there, so this is different. It's okay. No, this is not different. This is actually the same. I forgot. Yeah, this is the big, this was a good win right here. I remember this day when this happened. Big bull didn't end. Crazy. I don't want to talk about it because I can't remember which strategy it was. That's good. That's a good trade. These are the Bart's, you know, making money in the Bart Simpson markets, man. Look, bam, 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 bam. Crazy. That was difficult. And then we get long. Boom. Perfect. Way up there. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're all the way down here. I'm long down here, right? We're down here. We're still stuck down here. You see this blue line, right? That's the, our actual current price. We're down here at, uh, what is this? 6107. We're back down here, guys. And then, last time we were back down here was on the 13th. Okay. All right, here's the uh, end, the third right here. We can't get any more data from it. The first trade was placed right here on the third. This is the second. Um, you know, so it, goes, it goes long here. Really, this thing went long back here. So this, these, these numbers are skewed. It wouldn't, it would have, it would have went long back here. Trust me, trust, just trust me on that. I know what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll prove it to you with this long right here, because I can make this long come all the way up here. Like it'll go long at, at any given, at the best point it can. Okay, so right here is the 14th. Okay, let's go to the 14th. I'll just prove it to you. All right, show me state wherever that state is. Let's go to 14th, 714. All right. Boom. All right. Boom. There it is right there. Now watch it. What if I just say, well, it's the 15th. I started my strategy on the 15th. Oh, okay. Well, it was still going long. All right. Okay. That's another day. Each line represents a day. Each one of these light blue lines, if you can see it. I make them very faint just for my eyes, but you probably can see them. I don't know. Let's go to the 16th. Okay. We're, we're still long. That's the 16th. Oh, let's go to the 17th. Oh, we're still getting long when we're supposed to. Okay, that's great. Let's go to the 18th. That's how I know what I'm talking about, okay? And we're still long. And you want a strategy like this, trust me. And I can keep going all the way up here and we get short right here where we're supposed to. This is this is one of the most dynamic strategies you're ever going to find. Most adjustable strategy you're going to find. Okay, let's go ahead and now pull this into the, uh, the framework here, okay? Now look, boom. I'm going up a day. Here's another day. It's still long. It's, it's getting long at its only opportunity. It's not going to go short here. It won't go short. It only knows to go long because that's the signal. These are not like moving averages, guys. Crossing, cro the moving average cross strategy that every it looks so good, but it's not. It has so many false positives and chop. I went all the way up here. I never tried this. Let's see, 24, 25. Boom. Oh, yo, dumb ass. Look, get short, though. Get short. It knows. It look, get short though. <laughs> Let's fast forward it. Boom. Today. God damn. Didn't calibrate it good enough. All right. One step forward to perfection. That's what I'm going to tell you and you guys. Enjoy this video. I hope it was helpful for all the owners of Bibble and the people looking into buying or trying to become part of the Bibble strategy. Um, all right strategy community of big boy look at this stupid shit fucking green shit it's crazy man going back up on me now you going back up on me now okay okay i got something for you next time next time all right i reloaded too look i reloaded i reloaded all right that's just what 70 bucks like or something like that 60 60 something i don't know i don't know what point zero one is no more maybe ten dollars less i don't know can't tell you what it is no more I don't want to. Okay, I will. I can't remember what point. I always start with point, point 0.103. What is that? Where did it come from? 
I love it is sixty three dollars and seventy two cents. That's what we're gonna start with, and watch what happens. With should we do trend chase again? I, I was really impressed by this. Just it was just a lot of fun. I don't know. And I got people telling me, man, put fucking Scalpy on it. Why one with Scalpy? Y'all haven't seen Scalpy yet. Scalpy is another one. Okay, that shit, that's my scalper, but that's a, that's that one right there. It needs constant tender care and gently caress, okay? It does. You need your little gentle caress, all right, daily. Because, you know, it'll it'll rip. It'll rip a scalp real fast, man. Like, you'll just see this shit just multiply your fucking motherfucking account really quickly. And then you got to jump out the trade. You can't let it. It won't jump you out the trade for you. Okay? It, it does take a little, you know, uh, uh, tinkering with the uh, uh, inputs. Just minor. Just all you do is tinker with the date input. And it, like I just did to show you how to get it to trade. Like how you saw how the, the, the long was jumping for day, for day, for day. That's basically what you do with scalpy to get it to trade it'll it'll trade like you put it to trade for today you started on today and it that motherfucker will fucking pick all the right trades all the way up until it stops picking the right trades then you'll be stuck with a bag but you gotta understand that's the strategy but i'm gonna make a video about that soon enough but right now we're just using that shit i'm talking to people in the black cold box right now the black box i got right the room is on fire right now man we're just doing this and we're everybody's enjoying it man we're having fun all right, you guys take care. I'm out wrapping this shit up, right? I got to enjoy my weekend. You guys enjoy yours. Probably not going to be doing nothing this weekend. You guys have fun. I just showed you how to, how to, how to, I didn't leave you guys hanging this week, weekend. I didn't. I just showed you how to get this thing to get back profitable. I'll fire the alerts back up, though, for the weekend from right now, and then we're good. All right, guys, take care. For the weekend, we might get a long signal right here. Hey, who knows? We might go even further. I'm gonna fire my alerts back up as I uh, calm down. All right, guys, take care. This this does take some little commentary because I don't have enough to trade with 10 you know two bitcoins right now so i gotta change my gotta do percentages of my account right now so let's do uh let's do 15x uh right here so if it goes 300 dollars out of me i won't get liquidated like i just did <laughs> so i have to do nine 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 i have to do nine all right for my shorts this is short Chaser, Master, you know, GG Long, whatever. These are just good to just, these are just rough, you know. I believe if you, you do anything over 20%, you get liquidated. As you can see, I got liquidated. I always get liquidated when I go over that shit. But I'm I'm doubling down, so I mean, I like having fun with this shit. All right, anyway, look, check it out. Let's see if we can do this again. All right, let's go ahead and do 18. Let's do 15X for short positions, okay, which is 9-9. Nine, nine. All right, let's go. Put that in. Open a short. Down here, we're going to do 9%. All right. Don't forget the percent sign. All right. And that's going to give us 15 times leverage. Update. Perfect. All right. Now open a long. And a long is going to be, I believe it's 8. 8, 8. Okay. For 14 times leverage. Okay. So we can even, it evens it out to be about 400 room. 400 liquidation room, 400 dollar liquidation room. Okay, all right, that's that simple. Okay, now go ahead and long, go into the alert, and then instead of doing one whole good old Bitcoin, we're gonna do eight, which is actually 16 percent. Okay, for you guys doing this, remember I'm doing eight because I'm my, the way mine is rigged up. I, it does it shoots double, double, um. Every position called to my API to, to go long or short, it does twice. So I have to do, I have to divide my percentages in, in half, okay? And it'll do 16%, which is exactly 14 times leverage. I'll show you again. This is 16%, but I, I do eight, eight plus eight, okay? Which is 16, which gives me 14. So if yours starts doing double calls, just split it in half, 
and it'll still get you 18%, which is 15 times leverage or 14 times leverage, okay? And then I'll save, and I'll, I'll get out of here. That's, that's the wifey calling. Gotta go handle some business. I gotta get out of here. Gonna go eat some Panda Express because my kids asked for it. I mean, I was thinking about going somewhere better, but that's where I might be going. All right, guys, take care. Enjoy your weekend.